Now to a story making headlines nationally. President Joe Biden's son Hunter has been found guilty on all counts. The jury handed down that decision today in his federal gun trial. The charges stem from accusations he illegally purchased and possessed a gun while addicted to crack cocaine. The felony convictions include falsifying statements to buy a gun in 2018 and possessing the gun while being a drug user or addict. CBS correspondent Nicole Skanga is live in Wilmington, Delaware. Nicole, what's next? Yeah, Jim, Erica, good to be with you. Now, the judge in this case did not set a date for the sentencing hearing for Hunter Biden, but said on average they happen in about 120 days. That puts us at sentencing in October, just one month out from the presidential election. In between now and then, we will see a flurry of court filings. Hunter Biden will have a chance to appear before the court again uh, to ask for mercy before that sentencing occurred. And already today we are seeing some suggestions from the defense legal team that there could be an appeal. This is also not the only legal trouble for the president's son. He is also expected to stand trial in Los Angeles in September in a different federal case brought forth by special counsel David Weiss connected to allegations of tax fraud. Nicole, what was the mood like, the reaction in the courtroom? Yeah, well, CBS News spoke with one of the jurors who witnessed it all and described that moment as really sobering as the verdict was read aloud, guilty, guilty, guilty. The room and the energy in the room seemed to deflate. For his part, Hunter Biden, he held his face in his hands, but he looked rather sober, not expressing a ton of emotion, just turning once the verdict was read to his left and to his right to hug his attorneys and to hug his wife. Nicole, what has the president said about all of this so far, and is there any reaction from Hunter Biden? Yeah, the president did put out a short statement saying that he supports and loves his son, Hunter Biden. And obviously, uh, you know, he is the commander in chief. But this week, he feels really much like a dad. Uh, we have heard from Hunter Biden, who said that as disappointed as he is, he is more grateful for the love and support uh, that he has received from families and you know, friends this week. Uh, the president also saying uh, earlier that he will not pardon Hunter Biden, his son. All right, Nicole Skanga in Delaware for us this afternoon. Thank you.